Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narcs Nemesis. For those of y'all that are watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people. Um, somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. Um, if you need a one-on-one -on -one session, the link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description as well. My two songs, Superstition and Masquerade, they are both available here on the channel. Y'all make sure y'all go check them out. They're about my narcissistic experience. Superstition is about me overcoming my narcissistic experience. Uh, Masquerade is about my ex-narc showing up after a certain period of time, acting like nothing happened and like she was a completely different person. They're both available here on the channel and all music platforms and also the performance video for Superstition is available here on the channel. So y'all make sure y'all go leave me some feedback, some critique, send it to a friend, share it, use it on TikTok, do all that good stuff. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to y'all about the narcissist defends you against the new supply. Now, I know a lot of y'all are like, what? Wait, wait a minute. They did all this talking. They did all this devaluing. They did all this slander, these smear campaigns, all this gaslighting, projecting, and, you know, Lord knows what else. And you mean to tell me these people are defending me against the new supply? That should give you, uh, you know, some kind of view of how retarded these folks are. They did all of this to push you away or you ended up pushing them away or however the situation ended, only for them to go to the next uh, situation and defend you. Because see, what happens is, is why I tell y'all, stay your ass off they social media. I know y'all weren't ready for that. But this is why I tell y'all, just chill and let things unfold because they always unfold and they always, excuse me, they always uh, settle themselves. See, when what you don't see behind closed doors, the narcissist is triangulating um, the new supply with you and you don't even have to be in contact with them. But they will continue to bring up. Remember that ex that they kept talking about and you kept telling them, hey, I don't want to hear about that. Or, you know, however y'all handled that situation. Um, now you're the ex that they can't shut up about. And it might not be just with that one supply. It could be with multiple supplies. Now they're talking about this, that and, you know, uh, well, they didn't do this and they didn't do that or whatever the case is. And. See, the thing is, now you're not answering the Hoover, which I hope you're not. You're not answering the Hoover. So now, you know, they can't regulate their own emotions, so they got to give them to somebody. See, they're trying to give the emotions and stuff to you. That's why they're trying to Hoover you. That's why they're slandering your name, hoping it gets back to you so you can come back to them. And so you can address them and Y'all can re-engage again because maybe you went no contact and they're hoping that you get wind of the situation and what you know what was said. So you can retaliate and you can break no contact. And see, now you're not answering. So now what they have to do, they have to transfer that energy that they want to give to you. They have to transfer it to the closest person to them, which is the new supply. So now... Instead of all that slander and devaluing they were doing to, to you uh, against the new, you know, doing to you, to the new supply. Now it changes. Now their target is the new supply. So now they got to change the narrative about you. See, now it's not, oh, well, she was a cheater and he was a cheater and this, that, and the third. Now it's, man, I I remember my ex never did that. Or damn, you can't cook? My ex sure knew how to cook. Or damn, my ex sure knew how to do this in bed. Or damn, my ex sure knew how to, uh, whatever it is, knew how to listen. Or my ex wasn't insecure or whatever the case. See how that changes? 
So now when you come up, they're defending you. Oh, well, nah, he's, he's a really good person. He's And I've seen this for myself. I've seen this for myself. I experienced this for myself. Was talking so much shit about this dude, which I told her several times, I don't want to hear that shit. Because me, I'm not the guy to talk about your ex to unless we're both mutually on that subject. But if you just continue to bring him up, man, you got a sister, you got homegirls, you got cousins. You talk to them about that shit, not me. Unless we're both on that subject and we talking about healing and moving forward and things of that nature, then okay, cool. But anyway, you know, talking so much stuff about this dude, he's this, he's that, he's not this, he's not that or whatever the case is and then later on in the relationship when they're triangulating you with them now they want to say oh well he wasn't such a bad person after all and you know he was really nice he's really good people and this and this and this now it's like that about you because deep down inside they know you're a good person they know you were good to them. They know you, uh, you you took care of them. They know you paid the bills. They know you took care of the family, took care of their ashy ass kids, all that. They know all of that. But the thing is, if they can convince you that you weren't all of that, you'll start questioning yourself and you'll start trying to do more. They know this. So now they're defending you. Now they're telling the, kind of the truth about you. Nah, well, he is a good person. She is a good person. She's caring, and she got this and this going on. And then the new supply, this adds to the confusion. So now you're thinking like, wait, okay, are they a good person or are they a bad person? Then you start thinking about yourself. Damn, am I a good person or am I a bad person? Because they just painted two completely different pictures of this other person. So they have to be painting two you know, they, they start questioning, you start questioning the picture that they painted about you. Damn, am I a bad person? Or am I a good person? Or you see, it's, it's all confusing because if you're confused, naturally, you know, uh, psychologically, you're going to be looking for the thing that makes sense. And if you're in a state of confusion, anything that presents itself first, that makes sense, you'll go with it. They done already created themselves and isolated you from everybody and created the idea in your mind that they are your end all be all. So now whatever they say is going to make sense to you. So now they can feed you the narrative of, no, I don't think you're a good person. If you could just work on this, if you could just, you know, you're so insecure. Now you start changing yourself because now they done caused so much confusion. You don't even know who you are anymore because they told you two different stories about this other person. So now you're questioning what they done told you about yourself or what you feel about yourself because they done told you two different damn things. Like, damn, you told me they was a bad person, but now you saying they're a good person. You told me I'm a good person. Am I a bad person? Am I, you know, you start blurring the lines. And this causes confusion. And this is where they operate the best because they are masters of illusions. They are masters of illusions. They are masters of perception and they are masters of manipulation. So this is where they thrive at when there's no um, order, where there's no govern. They can make their own because there's no solid line. You know what I mean? They can create a uh, false mass. They can create false selves. Because this is the uh, this is the environment for them to do so. So now they sitting over there defending you. The new supply is looking like, wait, you told me they was a bad person. So damn, how do you really feel about me? Now they confused. And now they looking at you. Some, some of them, they done reached out to y'all. Man, I know we got our differences, man, but I need to talk to you about old girl. Nah, motherfucker, I don't want to talk now. That's your girl. I don't know that lady. Matter of fact, I ain't never knew her. So, you know, and, and ladies, I know y'all done y'all done got the call. Cool, y'all done got the call too. Hey, girl, I know we didn't had our differences, but I need to talk to you about Devonte or whatever the fuck dude name is or 
whoever, you know what I'm saying? And now they confused. And they say they they're so confused, they're reaching out to somebody they don't even like for answers. They're reaching out to somebody they disrespected for answers. They're reaching out to somebody who they watched get abused for answers about you. Well, they told me you were such a bad person, but they just got through praising you. And I'm just trying to figure out what the hell going on. Nah, you don't need to figure out shit. Y'all figure it out. Y'all the team now. I quit. Don't ask me a damn thing. If you want to answer, that's on you. But I, I would suggest I'm not answering shit. Because nine times out of ten, those are the same people that watch them abuse you. Those are the same people that help orchestrate your abuse. Those are the same people who watched you cry. They done read your long text messages that you done sent this jackass because they sitting there next to each other while you sending these long ass, you know, text messages, um, pouring your heart out, pouring your feelings. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's, it's crazy out here. You got to be careful. Like people who really sit, you pouring your heart out in the text messages, you think you making sense and they sitting side by side reading your shit laughing. Oh, girl, I got him. Ah oh, man, look at this crazy lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. So they're defending you to the new supply now. And it's part because they know you're a good person and they know the truth. But the other part is it helps in their confusion. It helps to manipulate the new supply when they tell two different narratives about you because it makes the new supply question themselves and it makes them question y'all's relationship and it makes them question their significance because now they're thinking, well, damn, if they're such a good person, why are you with me? And then it, it starts to make them feel insecure and then subtly it makes them want to do more to compete with you and you're not even in the picture. You might, and they might say some shit like, and I'm going to tell you, I think I said this in another video, but I'm, I'm going to tell you again how crazy these jackasses is. They will save your name. You know, Scam Likely call iPhones every day, all day. They will save Scam Likely under your name. So it looks like you're calling them. It looks like you're blowing them up. They done saved your name under Scam Likely. So, and then they didn't got their phone laying around so the new supply can see it. So now they thinking you calling them. You ain't talked to this idiot in eight months, six months, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. You know what I'm saying? All that. So, they're adding on to the abuse. They're using you to abuse the new supply. You don't even know it and you're not even there. But they're defending your name partially because it's them subconsciously admitting that you're a good person. And then on the other hand, it's helping them further abuse this person. So yeah, they defending your name when people talking about you and shit like that. But on the other hand, they talking about you like a dog too. They're defending your name because it helps with their abuse. And subconsciously, it's helping them admit. It's, it's them accepting accountability without accepting accountability. They're giving you your flowers, but you're not there to receive them. Because they know you're a good person. They know you were a good woman. They know you were a good dude. But it's hard for people to admit that in the moment. It's hard for them to admit that when they're being accused and they know they're wrong. It's easy for them to admit it when it ain't got shit to do with them. But man, that's my video for the day, man. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is also in the description. I appreciate every subscriber, every follower, every person who donated. I appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Um, I was going to say something else. Um, if y'all sign up to Patreon, um, what that does is it gives y'all sessions for half off. I keep forgetting to, you know, mention that when I do my videos because I always got something else going on. But um, if y'all sign up to Patreon, it gives y'all half off of free sessions. I mean, half off of free sessions. It gives y'all half off of sessions as long as um, 
as long as y'all are signed up. So, you know, that's a little gift I'm giving back to y'all. If y'all need NARC Free 2023 merch, it is in the description. Um, the music is in the description. Y'all make sure y'all check out those songs. Link in the description. Share them. Leave me some feedback. And uh, also, uh, man, just educate yourself. The answer is in the disorder, not them. Another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.